Why do I wear a mask? I wear a mask because, number one, this is my brand. This is what people know me as. Number two, I like privacy. I've always been a private guy. I make music for the sake of music, and I feel like this is the best way for me to, to keep myself undercover. The bigger picture in life being, you know, making my own family, having, you know, a wife, kids. I don't want to be walking down the street to have people coming up to me like, hey, bro, can I get a picture? <laughs> Bro, I'll punch someone in the face, bro. Don't come to me for a picture. You know what a ballad is, right? It's kind of like a narration. And when you put, like, a bando in front of it, it's kind of like you're giving a narrative from your own point of view. I feel like music is something that has to have emotion attached to it. Whether you're making something hyped up or whether you're making something that's meant to touch people's souls. When I heard the beat, I just had emotion run from me and that's the first thing I thought of, bando ballads. Bando ballads, got some bando ballads, yeah. With metallic, burn their hearts with acid, yeah. People don't like it when they see you have certain material gains that they can't achieve. But their burn is not like a normal, you know, put fries in the oil pan while it's hot and, you know, get struck by a bubble. Like, it's more like on some real acid shit, like, you know, just completely fucking up. This whip it gallops, cowboy not from Dallas, yeah. Pour another, pour it in a chalice. It's kind of like changing lifestyles from before pouring it in a cup to now pouring it in a chalice where you've gone from somewhere that was so normal to something that is so abnormal, something that you hardly see anyone do because you're different. So it's really more about the difference. It's kind of cool sipping out of a chalice. Have you ever tried it? I swear to God, you'll feel like the Queen of England's husband, but much younger, obviously. Dream to palace, I've been trying to get it, homie. Need some balance, bought this wave of new tsunami. Do you know how many princes and princesses there are in Saudi Arabia, bro? Over a thousand, bro. And they all got palaces the size of the biggest NFL stadium in, that you can find. My dream palace will probably look like, no cap, will probably look like what Drake's got, man, to be honest. Cause that's not, a, it's not a palace, but shit, the way that he done that shit, bro, it kind of does look like a palace, man. That interior and the exterior is looking sweet. I won the votes, check the ballots, they ain't changed, that's a habit. They do wrong, they'll be sorry. Next to me, that's morning glory. And I can't even think no more. The head's so good, got me blinking more. Have you ever blinked a lot when you're getting head? You ain't got that A1. <laughs> Not yet, but don't worry. You come to London, I'll hook you up. You know about that? Cool. Salt and pepper, you know about that? Cool. It's a salt and pepper. <laughs> it's a salt and pepper shit, you get me? Yeah? None of none of that. We don't do that. It's it's a obviously that applies to only people with a certain size. Not everyone can pass for that, unfortunately. Shout out to the ones who can. I went for mama to the discount store. Yeah. I changed that discount to a department store. Yeah, I used to go to the store for my mum. She used to give me a list of what to get, but it always used to be like the budget stuff or she used to tell me to go look for stuff on sale. Now I go to a department store and I go Chanel and I'll buy her shoes, bro, for like two Gs or three Gs. If I was to tell her the shoes that I bought her was two Gs, I'll get disowned, bro. I will get disowned. She will tell me never chat to her again. If I was to tell them that's a thousand, bro, I'm, I'm getting a thousand lashes. I'm a big man, you know? but I will submit and get those lashes on some real shit. I buy the Royal Oak, no offshore, yeah. I make transactions, I go offshore, ah. Uh, conversations, I go offshore. You know, we don't make offshore phone calls because the phone is the issue, bro. You have to go link to the person, even if the conversation's 10, 15 minutes, you know, I'll spend the weekend away in somewhere in Europe just to go and have a conversation to make sure everything stays detailed and everything is on the wraps. I checked the time, it's the encore. Ah, spoke to my jeweler, I told him I don't want the freezer. In terms of like time pieces, I feel like it's very classy to have a watch that is very plain. Don't get me wrong, if you have diamonds in your watch and diamonds in the face, it's cool and everything. It looks beautiful, I think it looks beautiful, but it's just not practical. And plus you're a walking lick and anybody can get it. I tried to be real, but they move like they be so much realer. I survived in a jungle, I prospered and turned to a gorilla. My bro lost his parents, he's burning, he turned to a killer. It's mad and it hurts, but that's how it goes where we be at. 
got police around there watching just where I'm gonna be at. So I grew up in, in London. Um, in general, North London, North West London. I feel like everyone in the UK gets watched. Apparently, the average uh, UK citizen, as soon as they step out of their house, is already being watched by two cameras. I used to get pulled over, stopped and searched. I've been stopped, taken into the back of the police truck, stripped naked. Do you know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> like, on, on some real shit. Seeing these things, it makes you want to move out of there because it's just like you become a constant target. If I hurt your feelings, I told you the truth, can't you see that? Yeah. I told you the truth, can't you see that? Yeah, back to the bando with Brizak. Sorry, I'm back in the bando with Brizix. I'm picking the sides with the pickaxe. Slowly it's thin and I'm hanging, I'm kicking. Basically, what I'm trying to say is kind of like trust. It takes years and years and years and years to build trust. Two minutes it takes for trust to go down. That's it. I'm just trying my best to hang, hang in there and be there, but... Sometimes you just have to let go, you know, you don't want to break something apart. The ting always came with a kickback, surely a package, I'm ready for shipping. I ain't got the time for you, baby, I'm busy right now. There's no committing, baby, you know. She keeps on wishing it daily, you know. The trap keeps on gripping me daily, you know. I'm a workaholic, I do stuff every single day of my life, bro. I can't commit to anything until I reach my goals. I'm hard at admitting my faults, you know. Hard at admitting my faults, you know. Ah. Uh. I'm hard at me and my faults, you know. Yeah, I'm hard at me and my faults. As an individual, sometimes you feel like you don't, some people just don't deserve your time. They don't deserve your love, your affection, your gratitude, your generosity. In terms of like regrets, I have no regrets whatever I've been through. But in terms of fault, that is my fault. Giving access of myself to other people that did not deserve it. You know, some people look at Drake and he's buying this and doing that, but. This came with over a decade's worth of work. When you see someone like that doing what they're doing, it gives you the urgency and the motivation to try go get that yourself. 